Hello Gate aspirants, welcome to part 13 of Gate Electronics series. Question 11. For the op-amp circuit shown below, choose the correct output waveform corresponding to the input V in is equal to 1.5 sin 20 pi t. The saturation voltage for this circuit is plus minus 10 volt. Now this is a Schmidt trigger circuit. And here output will lie between plus 10 volt to minus 10 volt. Whenever input is greater than uh, the, whenever the input at this terminal, non-inverting terminal, let this be V1 and voltage at inverting terminal, let it be V2. So whenever V1 is greater than V2, so if V1 is greater than V2, in that case, output will be plus V set. That is, it will be plus 10 volt. So V1 will be, this is the voltage V1, that is voltage across this 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. So this will be 2.2, so 2.2K plus 20K into plus V set, that is 10 volt. So this V1 will be 0 0.99 volt. That means once the output is plus V set, then this input to the V1 terminal, it will become 0 0.99. And since 0 0.99 is less than this 1.5 volt, which is the input, then it will flip its state. That means it will go to minus V saturation. So if V1 is less than V2, in that case, output will be equal to minus V set. And in that case, V1 will be, it will be fed back to non-inverting terminal. So it will be 2.2K upon 2.2K plus 22K into minus 10 volt and that will be equal to minus 0 0.99 volt so again input will flip so the output voltage is going to be in between plus minus 10 volt and it will continuously change as it is in question option number a so the correct option for this question is option a question 20 for a op amp based negative feedback Non-inverting amplifier, which of the following statements are true? First, closed loop gain is less than open loop gain. As we know, closed loop gain is equal to A upon 1 plus A beta, where this beta is our feedback factor. This gives us that AF is less than A, where A is open loop gain. So this one is correct. B, closed loop bandwidth is less than open loop bandwidth. Option C, Closed loop impedance is greater than open loop impedance, input impedance, and closed loop output impedance is less than open loop outloop, output impedance. So this is for option A, which is correct. For option C, input impedance is equal to Ri plus Ri in bracket 1 plus A beta. That means input impedance after feedback is greater than input impedance without feedback and ROF is equal to RO upon 1 plus A beta that means ROF is less than RO that means output impedance for a feedback will be less than that for the open loop circuit. And about, feed, uh, about the bandwidth, A F0 is equal to A F A F. So this first one is for open look and the second one uh, on the right hand side we have for feedback. So this will be A upon 1 plus A beta into F F. So from this we can write bandwidth for uh, closed loop is equal to bandwidth for open loop bracket 1 plus a beta that means this will be greater than f naught so ff will be greater than f naught so this is wrong and these two are correct so the correct answer is a c and d next question for a bipolar junction transistor which of the following statements are true 
first doping concentration of emitter junction is more than that in collector and waste region this is correct emitter has the highest concentration then collector and then base so this one is correct on the electrons participate in current conduction here both electrons and holes participate option c the current gain beta depends on temperature yes beta is temperature dependent and option d collector current is less than emitter current emitter current is equal to collector current plus base current that means yes ic will be less than i so here a is correct c is correct and d is also correct so here correct options are a c and d next question a power supply has internal resistance rs and open load voltage vs is equal to 5 volt so here internal resistance rs and open load voltage that means e is given emf of that battery it is 5 volt when the load resistance of rl is connected to power supply so this is connected to it rl a voltage drop vl is equal to 4 volt is measured across the load now vl is equal to current flowing through it let it be il so il into rl and current is given by this battery that will be equal to e upon rs plus rl into r now we have value for vl that is 4 it is given to us e is 5 let us divide by this rl so this will be rs upon rl plus 1 so from here rs upon rl plus 1 is equal to 5 by 4 that means rs upon rl is equal to 5 by 4 minus 1 that is 1 by 4 that means rl upon rs is equal to 4 and we have to round it off to first digit and the range for this answer range for this question was 4 to 4 question 59 the minimum number of two input nand gates required to amplify the following boolean expression is we have to simplify this equation a bit so y is equal to a b bar c or b d or a bar b bar c this is the expression so let us first use distributive law so this will be a b bar c or a b bar b d or a bar b bar c Now b bar b, that will be zero. So this term is going to be zero. So this will be a b bar c or a bar b bar c. Now let us uh, use distributive law again. So if we do this, a b bar c c, that will be simply a b bar c because c c is equal to c only, or a bar b bar c from here we can take b bar c common and we will have a or a bar and this will be a or a bar that will be one only so this will be b bar c and for this purpose we have to use nand gates we have to implement this uh, and we have to get nand gates so first we have to see first we have to do this v bar for that we will require one nand gate and then we have to use and and again we have to use not gate so for this purpose y is equal to b bar this is the expression so we require three nand gates so if we have b then use one nand gate that will give you b bar another input is c give it to second nand gate and then again use not gate 
so here output will be b bar or b bar and then we'll get y here so for this purpose we have to use three nand bits and the answer range for this question was 3 to 3 so these are all the questions from gate 2022 paper if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos keep learning